Hey everybody, this is John and welcome to the free video. So right now we got a battle of two time frames. We got the weekly chart versus the daily chart. Uh, last week in the premium video I talked about that cycle high where we were looking for a rally into December 3rd. Uh, we rallied right into December 3rd and then we puked it up from there. Now we're back and forth between the Bollinger Bands here. So for tomorrow, I'm looking for at least a move back up to that midpoint. But you'll notice what we got the battle here is we got weak uh, daily sell signals on the S&Ps, but we've just got our first weekly buy signal. All right, so which one will win out? So some of the key stocks I'm looking at first is Amazon. All right, Amazon here, it's trying to get something going. You can see same situation here. We've got a weekly buy signal, a pretty strong one actually, but a light daily sell signal, all right? And then if we look on the other hand at Apple, this turd bomb, um, this thing, it, it doesn't even have uh, anything remote. It's just in a death spiral. And at this point, uh, even today's, even though today, even though it recovered into the close, it couldn't even go positive. So peop, uh, investors are shedding this stock very, very hard. On the opposite side of the coin, Tesla here is one of the most uh, fantastic looking longs. I am looking with this daily squeeze, and of course there's a monthly squeeze now, looking for new all-time highs as shorts get absolutely crushed in the next move higher. And I do think that that can happen regardless of what the market does. So this is a long that I'm fine holding overnight, whereas on the S&Ps and things like that, I'm a little bit more interested on day trade, so I don't have to wake up and say, oh my gosh, you know, the market's going the wrong way by 80 points. Uh, from there, the other market that I've been watching quite a bit, as you guys remember, we talked about this in, well, I talked about this in the uh, premium video the day after Thanksgiving, about a 40-minute big picture outlook. And the whole premise of that was that bonds were going to explode higher. And bonds have exploded higher. And there's a lot of reasons for that, but a lot of it has to do with the economic recession that's pointing, based on the hard data that I showed you guys, uh, for Q3 of 2019. So continue to look for bonds to go higher, and that's going to have a big impact on a lot of markets, especially the U.S. dollar. All right, so a lot of fun stuff there. So at this point, long Tesla, kind of sitting back and kind of watching the markets here to see how they're going to handle tomorrow, uh, continuing to pound Apple on the short side, and of course, just maintain your risk. All right, and now let's take a quick look at this. All right, the last thing I want to talk about here is a concept. Uh, it's a really fascinating concept that I had not really heard of before. It's called profit recycling. All right, and if you, if any of you have you, see, have you seen uh, Allison in our trading room, um, she's a newer trader to our team. Actually, not really new. She's been with us for a while. This is going to be the first kind of class where she is, or first free class, free webinar where she's going to talk about, hey, this is the methodology that I use. And it's pretty fascinating because she was able to take a 10K account and in three months turn it into 47K just by recycling profits, mostly in the SPX, but also other stocks. So what, what is that? All right, so if you go to simplertrading.com forward slash control, that will take you to this page and you can sign up for a free webinar which will be uh, Tuesday, December 11th, starting at 7 o'clock Central. And what Allison's going to do, and it's called How to Engineer Exponential Profits, and she'll be talking about how she grew a $10,000 options account into 47000 in just three months utilizing this method, how to turn a losing trade into a break-even trade or better. Uh, this is something that she does incredibly well. It's funny, when she first came in, and I was like, oh, great, we've got a trader here. I bet she buys calls and buys puts. And so I sat with her for about 30 minutes, and Mandy was like, look, you got to talk to her. I was like, all right. And she started telling me what she does, and it's like, this is advanced, easy yet advanced stuff. It's advanced methodology that she has boiled down to very, very easy steps. And so I was fascinated uh, just for, just from listening to that and what she does. Uh, how to day trade options even if you have less than 25K. Okay, now read that again. How to day trade options even if you have less than 25K. Note that she had a 10K account. You guys know the whole day trading rule. So she t tells you how to deal with that. How to target 1,000 a week like clockwork even in volatile markets and the secret to risk-free and guaranteed profit options trades. All right, so there's a little bio of Allison here. You can read about that. But again, if you go to simplertrading.com forward slash control, free webinar next Tuesday at 7, and she'll tell you all about it. All right, you guys have a great rest of the trading week, and we'll see you at the next update.